the problem with uh, Manchester United. Um, imagine that's the introduction to my discussion today, Side Chat with Nation. Um, just to put it out there, if you are a Manchester United fan who's not, doesn't have a bit of shock up so by new, I think there's a part where you live, but no, just stay. There's so much things that I'm going to be talking about with relation to Manchester United. And uh, in case you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down there. Make sure you subscribe, like, share the video so that we keep all these conversations talking. Um, so as you've noticed, I'm pretty sure you've noticed, I'm putting on an Arsenal jersey, FYI. I just had to put it out there. And as an Arsenal fan, I think these are just one of the best times to be an Arsenal fan because for some reason we're winning games that we did not think we were going to win and then for the same reason again we are losing games which I don't understand why we are losing. Case in point, this past week, honestly, I can tell you for a fact, um, my bet was on Chelsea winning our match game this past week. But then we saw a lot of surprises and we won that particular tie. In today's game, um, let me just say the truth. In today's game, I was a bit 50-50 about Manchester United winning. But also going back and looking at how they have been performing um, the past few uh, games has been quite... Give me sort of, should I say like a moral booster, morale booster? Because... I knew uh, the Manchester that is there, I was eager to stua. Um, so that is basically why I'm putting on an Arsenal jersey. And also, the reason I'm also putting it on today is because we beat Manchester United. I just had to put that out there. But uh, let's talk about um, the problems at Manchester United. I know as an Arsenal, as an, as a, as an Arsenal fan, um, some Manchester United fans who are watching this video might be saying that, oh, he should not be talking about Manchester United. But hey, I'm a lover of sport. And uh, as a sports analyst as well, I mean, I have the voice, you know, to kind of like talk about some of the things that I feel might be working in your favor or might not be working against your favor. So rewind go back to the beginning i started the introduction by saying the following what the problems with manchester united for me um i think one of the biggest undoings of manchester united has been uh, playing names against playing players a lot of alliterations a lot of whatever but you get it you get you get what i'm talking about Manchester United the past a few games has been playing big names at the expense of um, players who have the will to fight for the team. And given a chance, I think they can be able to, you know, deliver the scoreline. Because right now, let's just say, let's, let's just face it, Manchester United is really um, desperate for goals and desperate for wins. Um, let me just put this out there. As somebody who has been following football for the longest period in time, um, let me just put it in the context of Manchester United and Arsenal. Um, let's take it back to the times of Sir Alex Ferguson. Whenever you heard about um, Manchester United playing against Arsenal, that was a straight walkover. Or whenever you had Manchester United playing another team in the league, you definitely knew that Manchester United were going to win that particular fixture but right now things are bad and that is what most of the manchester united fans do not want to agree things are really dire at manchester united and it might take more than just changing a manager to correct the errors that have been there i'm going to repeat that particular statement that things at manchester united are bad that not only getting a new manager is going to fix that there are some issues that they still need to go, um, you know, go back and look at, you know, and fine tune before we go back to the glory, glory Man United days. Um, as an outsider looking in, um, I think, and uh, you guys can let me know what you think down there in the comment box. You know, you can comment, tell me what you think, whether um, whatever I'm saying is right or... I'm just way off. 
um, the whole of this conversation. But I think for me, um, the problem, I've already said one, yeah? So count with me, yeah? Count with me. So I've already said one. That's point one. That's done. Uh, stop playing players. Stop playing names. You know, start playing players who are willing to, you know, fight for the team and have their own spirit and have morale to fight for the team. The other thing that I think is the problem with Manchester United is, and I know we keep on talking about this a lot, is, uh, what's the term? There's a term that you used to describe yourself, you know. Um, once I remember that term, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mention it. But the problem with Manchester United right now is that they're so much hung on on their past glory. I'm a journalist. And uh, the usual line that you usually go with is you are as good as your last piece of work, you know. So Manchester United has undoubtedly won trophies all over the all over the years. They've won the Premier League, uh, they've won FA, they've won all the leagues that you can, all the, all the titles that you can, all the trophies, titles and trophies that you can think about um, in the world of football, you know. But I think it's time for Manchester United fans, and I have to say it with a, with, a, with a pinch of salt, is you need to forget about those glory days and accept where you are so that you can make the necessary adjustment so that the team can do better. That's just the sad fact that Manchester United are not willing to, to accept, you know. Uh, we are the great Manchester United. You find you're beaten 3 nil, but you still have. We are still the great Manchester United. Yes, you're the great Manchester United, but I think that as Manchester United, um, fans or the boards need to come to that realization that, yes, in as much as we are the biggest club in England, yes, in terms of money, these guys have crazy spendings. Don't even get me started on... Cristiano Ronaldo, Harry Maguire, and who else? Jadon Sancho, and how much transfer fees you, you guys are paid to get um, who's who to Old Trafford. The team is an old shell of where it is, where it used to be. So something needs to be done to change things in the club. You need to go back to your academy. You need to look at promoting players. I know Manchester United has all the money to spend during the transfer seasons, uh, during the transfer uh, period. But the reality is sometimes the player that they want is within the academy, you know. So that is point number two, remember. Remember I told you to keep me in check, yeah? So point number one, stop playing names and start playing players. That's one. Two, Manchester United need to accept where they are. You are a big club, all and all, yes, but, but, in caps, font 42, yeah, font 42, bold. You need to accept where you are. The reality is Manchester United right now is an old shell of itself. And I feel one of the biggest undoing of Manchester United has been uh, not wanting to be patient with managers. Um, probably for the reason that they wanted the turnaround to be so quick. The reality is Manchester United has the habit of chasing managers away. Um, don't get me started on Jose Mourinho. Don't get me started on Ole Gunnar Soja, who had one of the longest stints at uh, Manchester United. And I think one of the reasons why that happened is because he was a former player and he received a lot of backing from pundits such as Gary Neville, you know, Rio Ferdinand, uh, who else, who else? Sir Alex Ferguson was the one that also backed Ole Gunnar Soja because, I mean, um, Soja was his player. So I think coming from that particular point of view, I think we're going to do a part two episode of this that... Things that you think are going wrong. For me, those are the two things that I think are going wrong at Manchester United. And until until Manchester United are able to fix those two particular issues, then you're going to see thrashing, losses, um, football fans walking out of the stadium, um, players being, you know, being booed once the game is done. Um, which is a sad reality because by the, by the fact that probably a player... 
uh, has accepted to come to play for Manchester United. They are proud of being there. Um, talking about a particular incident of Paul Pogba where he was booed, you know, um, after the the last game where he sustained an injury. But the reality is, as I finish, there's a problem at Manchester United, there's a problem at Old Trafford, and the powers that be at Old Trafford have to accept that even bringing Eric Ten Hag to Old Trafford, it's going to change things, but they need to be patient because the issues that ail Manchester United right now are far much more deeper than probably most of the people think they are.